be like this all the time. Believe me, this really is amazing. Good to the last drop. Infinity Ward releasing a follow-up to Call of Duty's 2019 title, Modern Warfare, was inevitable. Warzone had begun to show cracks from attempting to bolt on so many elements, and 2021's Vanguard had already overstayed its welcome. Fans have been hungry for something to breathe annual life into the franchise. Modern Warfare 2 has done that, and so much more. I'm Joe, and this is the Coffee and Adventure review of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 features scenes with visceral adult violence, realistic warfare and gunfire, and extreme foul language. The multiplayer, DMZ, and Warzone modes feature proximity chat, so you will likely hear foul language from other players too. Call of Duty has grown into such a massive juggernaut, they have to deliver something to satiate everyone. Whether campaign, multiplayer, Warzone, or the emerging loot and extract genre, Infinity Ward has given everyone something to enjoy with Modern Warfare 2. The single player campaign delivers on big box office action and a surprisingly solid narrative while giving players the opportunity to experience several different ways to play. Price, Soap, Ghost, and the crew are back with plenty to keep them busy. Whether you're taking out enemies while sniping in a ghillie suit, providing overwatch from a high altitude gunship, or fighting through the streets, Modern Warfare 2 delivers a sense of variety to keep things interesting throughout. While it was nothing groundbreaking, the Hollywood-level military story was both well-paced and fun. It's definitely worth your time if you can take a break from the game's other modes. Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer shakes things up in a way that finally fills more up my alley as an older player of the franchise. While past games have catered more to a movement-based playstyle, Modern Warfare 2 tends to reward positioning and accuracy more, and I love it. The biggest shakeup in this year's title is the gun progression. You'll have to level up guns to unlock attachments, but each gun has unique attachments and future guns you can unlock. This will force people to play guns they don't like to unlock attachments or further weapons they may enjoy. I think it keeps things interesting as I'm incentivized to try new tools out. The maps offer a solid variety of middle and long range spaces to engage with, and while they may take some getting used to, it rarely feels like maps are unbalanced. I do have to say I hate the recent addition of shipment, but that death trap is somehow considered a classic, so it's inescapable. With the original Warzone showing its age, a sequel has been released and Caldera retired. The new map and loot abilities have been married with some new features for a fun, fresh battle royale experience. Proximity chat lets you hear and talk to folks around you. You can even send them requests to join your team now if you're inclined. They've also turned the Gulag into a 2v2 shootout with a juggernaut jailer to apply pressure. The end result is a great new experience to enjoy with buddies for a few more years. It's worth noting that, as you can expect with any big new change, the community seems fractured on whether or not they like the revamped mode. Finally, in a bid to appeal to fans of games like Escape from Tarkov, they've released DMZ, a mode where you're spawned into the same map as Warzone 2 with the goal of looting, completing faction missions, and successfully extracting. The map is covered in dangerous AI enemies as well as other thirsty players to contend with. If you die while you're in a mission, you lose everything on your person, including firearms. Successfully extract and you can take those guns with you on future outings. It's personally become my favorite Call of Duty mode of all time, giving an older, somewhat casual player an avenue to enjoy something fresh. You should definitely give it a try. Modern Warfare 2 is the best looking Call of Duty game to date. Character models are realistic and the lighting is jaw-dropping at times, especially on newer generation hardware. Gunfire, footsteps, and combat chirps all round out an audio offering that can literally make or break some games. It's immersive in a way shooters hadn't been until recent years. Modern Warfare 2 is the best comprehensive Call of Duty title they've released in years. Whether you prefer the story, classic multiplayer modes, battle royale, or the more mission-driven looting experience, there's something here for you. The production quality is through the roof and gunplay feels as satisfying as ever. First person shooter fans should absolutely put some time into Activision's latest annual release. Coffee and Adventure gives Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 a four out of five. If we've earned it, be sure to subscribe and let us know what you thought of our review. You can also follow us on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok for more of our content.